What is up everybody, Matt Hatter welcomes you back to the channel. Today we are going to be checking out the newest track from my guy, Mr. Ultimate Omega, Rise of Malice, Daughters of Eve. This comes as a priority request from Mr. Ultimate Omega, so make sure you show him a ton of love down in that comment section. And Mr. Omega, thank you for your support of the channel. If there is anything you guys want to see us react to, make sure you check out the reaction request forms. You can find those down in the link tree link in the description box below. There are free requests and priority requests. Free requests are done first come, first served. Priority requests are given VIP treatment, skip to the front of the line, and they are the next reaction to hit the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's go ahead and get this party started. Let's grab our cup of tea and a side of crazy because we are all mad here. I hope you sit back, relax, and enjoy this trip down the rabbit hole. As always, if you enjoy the content, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those notification bells. That way you get notified when we drop new content and you become part of the Hatter family. You guys ready for this one? I'm ready. Let's get it. Like all folk tales, it begins with sorrow, an event to change, to start anew. Oh, Mr. Ultimate Omega. You're going to start it off like that. Like all folk like all folk tales, it begins with sorrow. An event to change, to start anew. We go through that ourselves. Feel sorrow, feel depressed. But we have to start anew. Folk tales, it begins with sorrow. An event to change, to start anew. Away from those Genesis memories, the dead red planet, the mother left behind. This metallic flying arc, now acknowledged as home, an Atlantis among the stars. Atlantis, Lost City, Lost Spawn, the stars, just kind of out there in space. This home, an Atlantis among the stars. Down below, this new paradise with warm greenish colored skies, yet deadly to these invasive, interstellar astronauts. This plague designed to survive, spread, and destroy. These futuristic, godless creatures, possessing godly technology. Those impatient paradise dreamers, those whom succumb to false memories, towards this illusionary doppelganger planet. They descend to the unknown, to the monstrous titans defending their home. Such lives lost within this poisonous paradise. The last choice, a seven-year terraform. Turmoil formed within the hull of the Ark, the rebellious outrage from destroying the titans' ecosystem. A cold, visionary choice, a flood of death, to purify this Atlantis. The understanding, the logical creation of evolving life, the unintentional parasite, to survive this new paradise. The first steps after seven long years, the beauty of nature's wonders within bluish colored skies, yet traces of poison still remain. The success of a new creature, a mixture of highly intelligent beasts and these once roaming titans. This creature was wondrous and inspiring, but a curse of loneliness began to form. These godless scientists created in secret. Okay, you're gonna switch it up and go to a different uh, voice changer. Okay, so I think you're talking, uh, you, you brought up the Red Planet. Um, I know a lot in the news lately has been Elon Musk and his, um, do I want, is it admiration? Goal? His goal is to go to Mars and try to inhabit Mars and basically you're talking about yeah we've sat here and ruined this planet so you just want to go and try to ruin another one um i obviously th with time comes evolution and as we evolved you know things started changing um obviously more stuff was found like look look at how stuff was 10 years ago 20 years ago 50 years ago 50 years ago none of YouTube internet existed cell phones didn't exist like we have all this technology and we're more focused on keeping updating and upgrading the technology than we are saving what we already have like the earth and the trees and everything all right so let's take this back a little bit and Hear this voice change. Of loneliness began to form. And I like how he's like this creature, but the loneliness then began to form, and then he brings in a female uh, vocal on it. And 
you know, obviously male, female. If you're lonely, procreate, you make more humans. And then, you know, fast forward a couple thousand years, we have 7 billion people on the planet. These godless scientists created in secret a bearer of life. A complex being, a beautiful, seductive creature to ensure evolution continues. This act of mating began to corrupt its complexity, such unbelievable pleasure, given by its lesson. Becoming aware to the power it possesses, but procreation had a fatal flaw. The level of pain to create that unbelievable ecstasy, that path to conception, to such unbearable suffering. She became weary of this deceitful bliss, yet, lustful memories, still dwell for them. However, the past has passed, to the tale of the now, to what they've become. Born to a wondrous world, as an equal to her peers, yet time passes to grim realization, given life to literally be fucked by the opposite sex. Wow. Mr. Ultimate Omega, I don't think you've ever sworn in one of your songs. And then it's born to a wondrous world, as an equal to her peers, yet time passes to grim realization, given life to literally be... Nah. By the opposite gender. Okay. I mean, yes and no. I mean, there are different avenues you can take. I mean, but I, I think I'm more shocked that you uh, have the vulgarity in there, my guy. If time passes to grim realization, given life to literally be fucked by the opposite sex. The subconscious programming, a lustful longing for those forbidden fruits, those rotten apples. Praising, prideful protagonists, convinced if she keeps eating rotten fruit, she'll gain an immunity to the feeling of being sick. From innocent Barbie doll, to feminist size queen, ever rebelling to her unloving father. The Harlequin Alpha Fantasies, now a modern standard for novel-only characters, consumed by this Cleopatra complex. Interesting. The Harlequin Alpha Fantasies, um, so basically, you know, the idealistic scenario um, where basically the woman stays home, does the cooking, the man goes, man goes out and works, and then, you know, she's there to take care of the house, take care of the kids, make sure that he has everything he needs. Like, it's novel-only characters, and... Cleopatra complex. She was the one that thought she was the most beautiful, right? At first, I was thinking Medusa because I was like, it turned to stone, but that's not it. It's the uh, Cleopatra is the one that had the extreme beauty. I am not going to sneeze. Harlequin Alpha Fantasies, now a modern standard for novel only characters, consumed by this Cleopatra complex. This wife's tale of a white picket dream, yet sadly bound to be another daughter of Eve. Ooh, okay. So there's a lot of Adam and Eve references, like picking the forbidden fruit. If you just keep eating the rotten apples, then you'll get immune to being sick from it. Um, I, I like how Mr. Ultimate Omega sits there and he has a deep, meaningful message in each one of his songs that he does. Now, it is a very slim margin of people that are going to like this and actually give it a chance and listen to it and actually try to pick apart the story. But if you give it the chance, my man's got a message in everything that he does. I was a little harsh and critical on him at first, um, but I, I think you delivered this message very well and I think you did an amazing job on it. I liked how you threw in the uh, female vocal as well. But we are at the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen, so you know what time it is. I need you to drop down into that comment section. Let me know what you thought about this video and what you would give it as a rating between one and ten hats. Um, Mr. Ultimate Omega was in my live stream the other day, and he told me, he's like, the problem is the beats have replayability, but once you come with that sh stern message, 
uh, it loses the shock value afterwards. So I do have to agree with him. Um, like, I really enjoy the messages that he puts in his songs, but it's not something that I find myself going back and keep listening to. <clears throat> so just for that, um, I'd have to give it a, uh, 8 out of 10 just because it's not something that I would put on a playlist. But I love the messages. Keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, thank you for supporting the channel and, you know, coming out and hanging out with the channel and stuff like that when we do live streams, stuff like that. But I'm excited to hear your guys' thoughts, comments, and ratings down below. While you're down there leaving those, do me a favor. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. That's going to let me know that you guys are enjoying the content. And it motivates me to put out as much content like this as I possibly can. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Go make sure you uh, check out the original content for yourself. The link is in the description box. Also in the description box, you're going to get my link. My link will take you to all the places where you can follow the channel, support the channel, put in reaction requests. All that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys more than you could ever realize. And uh, yeah, if you made it this far in the video, you, my friend, are as mad as the Hatter. And for that, I'm going to give you this code. The code is going to be 2131. Go ahead and drop that code down below. That lets me and everybody else know that you are part of the Elite Squad. You watched the entire reaction video. And for that, I cannot thank you guys enough. It truly does help out the channel. And you guys are absolute rock stars. But with all that being said, this is going to be the Mad Hatter signing out. Reminding all Hatters out there to one, stay mad, two, Take care of yourselves. And three, we will see you in the next one.